Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, in this video, I will be showing you how to install Eclipse ID. Also, I will be showing you how to create and run Java program using it. So, let's start the video. So, guys, before installing Eclipse ID, you have to first install Java JDK. I have given video link in description box as well as you can click on I button to watch that video. So guys, I hope the installation of JDK is done. Now we will be proceeding for installation of Eclipse ID. Guys, you can open any of your favorite browser and just search for Eclipse download. And here guys, you can see the official website that is eclipse.org. So guys, you need to click on this link. It will redirect you to this page. And then you need to click on this button, download. But now guys, again it will redirect you to this page. You need to just click on this download button. And guys, at the top you can see the download has been started. It will take a while. And guys, you can see the download is done. Now to start the installation, I will be clicking on this AXE. Let me minimize my browser guys. And here you can see my Eclipse installer has been started. And guys, here you can see it's showing various options. We have Eclipse ID for Java. We have Eclipse ID for Enterprise Java. Also we have for C, C++, PHP and so on. You can scroll and see. You can install it for whatever you want. But in this video, I'm showing you Eclipse ID for Java. Hence, I am selecting first option. So, let me just select this first option. So, guys, it has taken me to this page. And here, it showing me Java JDK. Hence, I told you to install JDK first. If you are not installing JDK at the beginning, you can select sites from here also. This also takes a time uh, for the installing. Hence, I prefer installation of JDK first, not from here. So now guys, um, it has already detected my JDK and here we have the installation folder. So in this folder, my Eclipse will be installed. If you want to change, you can click on this folder button and you can change. Here we have two options, create start menu entry and create desktop shortcut. So if you want both, check mark it, otherwise you can uncheck. I'm keeping the default one and I'm clicking on install button. And guys, here it is showing me license and agreement page. So, I am just going to select accept now. So, guys, now you can see my installation has been started. It will take a while. Okay, guys, so you can see my installation is done. Here it is showing me installation completed successfully. And here it is showing me launch button. Also, you can see the shortcut has been created on desktop. So, to launch my ID, I will simply click on this launch button. And here guys, you can see it's showing me directory as a workspace. So, here uh, this is the default directory where your project will be saved, everything will be saved. If you wish to change, you can click on browse button. I'm keeping the default one and I'm clicking on this launch button guys. So, guys, my Eclipse ID has been started. Let me just cross this welcome page. Now, I am going to show you how to create Java project and how to run it. So guys, let's go to file menu and here we will be getting a new option and then Java project. So now here guys, we have to provide various details for our project. So first of all, we will be providing name to the project. So I am just giving hello demo as name to my project. And here we have check mark the use default location. So, whatever workspace directory you have selected, that is going to be a default location for your project. If you want to change, you can uncheck this use default location and you can click on browse button and select the directory wherever you want to save the file. So, I am keeping the default one and now under GRE guys, I will be selecting the second option. So, here you can see it's showing me my JDK. And now here guys, I'm just unchecking this create module info. And then guys, I'm clicking on this next button. And here guys, you can see it's showing me my um, build setting. So, uh, hello demo SRC. And here you can see it's showing me output folder. You don't need to do anything over here. Just click on finish button. And guys, you can see the project has been created at left side. This is a project hierarchy. We have the JRE and uh, inside that folder, hello demo, we have SRC and that is plan guys. So, we will be uh, creating Java classes inside this SRC. So, to create Java class, just select this SRC 
and right click it and guys select new option over here and under new option you have to select class okay now here provide the class name whatever you want so i am giving name as hello world and in package i am giving cs corner you can skip package name if you want i am just providing package name and my modifier is public and creating public class guys under the method i am going to check out the first option that is generate public static void mode so it my this class is going to be my main class so if you don't want you can uncheck and just click on finish button and guys you can see my hello world dot java file has been generated here you can see the first line it's showing me as package name then we have a class name and under that we have a public static void main method okay so let me delete this comment and here i'm going to type a simple statement so for that i'm just writing sys out and i'm pressing control space so guys you can see it has generated a line system dot out dot print line so this is the line which we use in java for printing any statement in console so in this i will be simply typing thanks for watching so my code is done guys now i'm going to save this code so you can click on save button or save all or control s and now let's run this project so to run this project you need to just click on this play button and boom guys you can see it's showing me my output on my console that is thanks for watching so guys this way you can install eclipse id and you can create and run your java program using it so i hope guys by following my video you are also able to run your java program successfully so guys if my video has really helped you don't forget to hit the like button and if you have any query you can put in comment box i will surely reply to your queries and guys if you find my video useful you can share my videos to your friends also and guys if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon also guys i'm sharing lots of pdf and notes on my uh, telegram channel you can join my telegram channel i'm sharing reels on my instagram all my social media link i have given in description box you can follow or join me thank you guys for watching my video i'll see you in my next video till then bye bye take care keep learning and keep watching guys